If you're a regular bathroom gamer, you probably know how much the Rock Band series means to me, and to those of you that don't know, it means a lot to me. Unfortunately, because of both Guitar Hero and Rock Band oversaturating the market due to competition in the late 2000s, it has been 5 years since a new Rock Band or Guitar Hero game has been released. But as you know, we now have Rock Band 4 for next-gen consoles, and Harmonix has claimed that this is simply a newer Rock Band, and that is exactly what it is. To celebrate a return back to music games, my mom, sister, and girlfriend claim they traveled 8 hours to see me, but really, they just wanted to see the new Rock Band, and I don't blame them. So after 20 hours of rocking out in the living room with plastic instruments, we now have our final verdict on the return of music games. Rock Band 4, at its core, is more Rock Band, and this is a good thing. Its gameplay remains exactly the same, as well as its instruments, but when it comes to new instruments, I'm left feeling disappointed. The guitar model is exactly the same as prior iterations, they could even change the freaking color. Although I am impressed with the way the guitar feels now, with more responsive and less noisy buttons, and a much more sturdy strum bar. What really grinds my gears though, is that the old overdrive button is now replaced with a share button. A share button. Really? Who thought it was a good idea putting the share button so close to your right hand? For the first 5 hours I kept on hitting the share button and it got really annoying. Now the only way I can activate overdrive is by tilting the guitar, and if you're in a comfortable position, tilting the guitar isn't something you want to do. Fortunately the guitar's tilt function has been improved so much, there hasn't been one time where I tilted the guitar and did not go into overdrive, so it's not all that bad. The drums still keep their same form and aesthetics, but feel incredibly responsive. However, for the crazy price of $250 for the band in a box, where are the new cymbals? In fact, cymbals aren't even available at the moment, which is a big letdown for serious drummers such as myself. The other items you get that I did not mention yet are the game and the new microphone. While the microphone looks and feels authentic, the one we received does not work. It barely recognizes a user's voice unless the person literally screams their heart out. Whether the problem is with the microphone, the cable, the game, or even the PlayStation, I have no idea what it is, but I am determined to solve the problem. So for the sake of this review, we just use older microphones and they work just as well. In fact, almost all old Rock Band and Guitar Hero instruments sharing the same system family will work with Rock Band 4. So my suggestion is, if you have old gear that works just fine, then you don't need to buy the new instruments. But if you got rid of your old controllers, are new to the Rock Band scene, or you just want new equipment, you may be spending a very shiny penny to get the new set, but the quality of the instruments are unbeatable. So let's get down to Rock Band's core gameplay, which has had some notable improvements. Let's start with the guitar. The new addition, which has actually been a big selling point for Rock Band 4, are the freestyle solos. When a solo will come up in a song, instead of just playing the scripted notes, you instead get to play whatever you want. No matter what you play in these sections will sound good due to a bunch of special stuff running behind the curtain, but the game gives you certain guidelines to follow to not only make your solo sound better, but for you to maximize your score. Blue sections are the top part of the guitar, while orange sections are notes to be played closer to the body. You can hold log notes, play a quick succession of random notes at any speed, you can tap the note and even tilt your guitar to have some virtual feedback. When playing with the band, freestyle guitar is a blast to play, sounds and looks great, and it truly makes you feel like a rock star by giving you some creative freedom. You can always turn this function off and play scripted solos, which I prefer whenever I play guitar by myself. Regardless, the freestyle solo mode is actually one of Rock Band 4's most notable improvements. Drummers now have a new option when it comes to activating their overdrive. Instead of playing random drum fills that never sounded good due to latency issues, you can now play random pre-made drum fills. When it comes to activate overdrive, the game will pull up a random drum fill that will sound good with the song and ask you to play it. The problem here is that some of the fills completely ruin the groove of the song, with some fills so out of place it'll screw up your note streak. Instead of being forced to pick your poison, the option to just play the song note for note is available and I highly recommend choosing this option. 
To all you seniors out there, three-way harmonies are back and have actually been added to every single song that can support it. This is a huge addition that I am very grateful for. Another awesome addition is freestyle vocals. A harder expert difficulty, you don't have to sing the song note by note. As long as you're in the same key, you can sing it a different way and still get through the song. Basically, if it sounds good, you'll get just as much credit as if you were to sing the song note for note. This is a welcome addition to all seniors out there, as we can now have fun and not worry about being penalized. As for bass players, nothing's changed. At all. With all the new additions for every other instrument, bass is still the most boring part to play. This is a lost opportunity, and I really think they could have done something cool with the bass. But instead, it's meant for that guy that isn't good at any other instrument. As a reviewer, I find it very annoying when I can't explain something, when I have an opinion but I can't back it up with anything. As awkward as it is for me not to know why, Rock Band 4 brings the band closer and more focused than in any other music game. No matter who I played the game with, we felt tighter as a band, or in gaming terms, a team. We tried our best not to miss any notes, to use our overdrive in unison to get the 8 times multiplier. We tried to get as many points as possible and get 5 stars in every song we played. The only explanation I could think for this is because of how focused Rock Band 4 is. Gone are the keys and pro guitars, complicated menus, and other unnecessary additions. This is Rock Band at its core, and the game is stronger because of it. However, there are many changes that I just don't understand. Firstly, there's no practice mode. There's also no online multiplayer, which is okay because who really played Rock Band online anyways? There are also no competitive guitar battles, no kick-ass intro cutscene, and you can't change the physique of your custom character. The thought of every character being a walking stick doesn't bother me too much, but we can't even change your heights? I almost feel like there's no explainable reason for this. Fortunately, another cool thing that they added is the new tour mode, which functions like a campaign. You create a band, and in this case, we're known as the Bathroom Gamers, and you tour the world playing show after show. What's cool about this version of tour mode are the choices you can make that shake up the experience. Some silly choices range from do you want to make over and get more money, or do you want to couch surf with your own fans? Each choice has its different benefits, but in the grand scheme of things, doesn't change your overall experience. However, some funny things can happen depending on the choices you make. The only one that I will spoil for you is if you decide to sleep on your fans' couches, your band will get head lice and perform the next show bald. Some little repercussions like this give the tour mode a special touch. Besides LEGO Rock Band, Rock Band 4 has the best campaign mode in the entire series. One of my favorite new additions is the mode Play a Show, which because of this, I don't even use Quick Play anymore unless I want to play a specific song. During the performance, your band votes on songs you guys want to play next, like an Avenged Sunfold song, or a song from 1984, or a heavy metal song. Having your band bicker and argue as to what song to play creates a lot of friendly tension that enhances the overall experience. The show only stops when you want it to, and rarely are you guys playing a song everyone in your band doesn't want to do. This leads me to answer a very important question. How good are the songs that come on disc? Unfortunately, Rock Band 4 has the weakest selection of music in the entire series. With only a title over 60 songs on discs, the songs that are actually on the disc are pretty much unheard of. The game's highlight tracks consist of Panama, Somebody Told Me, Hail to the King, and Metropolis Part 1, The Miracle, and The Sleeper. But there are some unexpected songs like Suspicious Minds, which makes me want more Elvis DLC, and the most overplayed song of the entire decade, Uptown Funk. But that's okay if there aren't a lot of songs that you know, because Rock Band and Guitar Hero have the power to open your minds to new music. This is an outlet for music, and I was ready to embrace the new songs that I think I would like. I now love more songs and even more types of music, like Electric, Friday, I'm In Love, and I actually kind of like Brad Paisley now. But luckily, all of your old Rock Band DLC works with Rock Band 4, and they are constantly updating their online store, which already has around 2,000 songs. This means if you've been with the series for as long as I have, your setlist is gonna be huge. One thing I didn't get to mention yet is the game's presentation. The game looks great and runs perfectly at 60 frames. Crowds look more realistic, the lighting and reflections off the instrument are fantastic, and your character's onstage moves almost never get old. Most importantly though, the game's sound design is mixed perfectly. I mean, if you have surround sound or you play by yourself with a headset, the game makes every sound sound better than it actually did, I actually got goosebumps whenever I heard one of my favorite songs remixed and edited for the game. Alongside the roar of the crowd cheering during your favorite songs, Rock Band 4 shows that even though this is a music game, its sound design will go beyond your expectations. Instead of feeling like the next installment in the series, Rock Band 4 feels like a platform. It's a game that the more money you put in, the more you get out. 
The game's long-term support means with new DLC and constant updates, you're going to be playing Rock Band 4 for years. But is this game meant for you? If you never liked music games, Rock Band 4 is not going to change your mind. If you still have your old instruments or some DLC purchased on your account, then you should definitely get this game. If you want all the new instruments with the game and already have a huge library of songs, then go get the band in a box. But what if you never played Rock Band and want to see what all the fuss is about? If you're willing to invest $250 plus extra money on DLC, then just know your money's going to go a long way because you're going to be playing this game for quite a while. While it may not innovate the series in noteworthy ways, Rock Band 4 is a focused experience that proves why playing plastic instruments was so great all those years ago. Cheers to a return to music games! Rock Band 4 receives an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching and stay fresh, you guys. Say my name and you know who I am. I'm too hot. Hot damn. Oh, and my band mouth and dip, 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 dip. Girls, how do you okay. go? Woo! So. Girls, how do you